All right, modeling exercise number four, working with draft, chamfer, and uh, combined and scale commands. So autodesk.com products, Fusion 360 learning training tutorials. It's the same website for all of the lessons that have been posted so far. And this one's a little bit big, it's 18 slides. So I may have to break it up into two screencasts, but I'll try to get it done in 10 minutes or less. So we have to hop over to Fusion and Use the data panel, basic training, modeling, and we're going to open up the door stop. Once it's open, we can close the data panel. All right, so we've got two sketches, those lines and the base. Turn them both off, you don't really see anything. This is an assignment in metric. So we've opened up that file. Now we're going to extrude these two parts of the sketch separately. So E for extrude, click on the half circle, 50 millimeters, and that's a new body. Now expand the sketching and turn the base sketch back on, expand the bodies and turn the original body off. Hit E for extrude again, click on the other half and type in 50. Now, if you turn on, uh, turn the sketch off, turn both body both both bodies on. You have two separate bodies; they're not one combined. Body five and body six. It could be body one and body two. I've done the assignment a few times, so that's why it shows up as different numbers. Uh, extrude a new body along. Just did that. So now we want to use the draft command to put it at an angle. So to do that, we're going to hide this first body just modify draft and we're going to select that face as our plane and we're going to click on the flip direction and then the arrow faces the correct direction then we're going to collect uh, choose a face and select the top and I believe the assignment asks that this gets set to 10 degrees folder use 10 degree angle there we go so we've got that done Hit okay we turn this back on you can see how it looks as a with both bodies so now after that we're going to use click the click the okay can command to end it and then expand the bodies and select the bottom for and unhide the first so we have to turn this body on rotate so that we can see the bottom of it modify draft our plane is right here flip the direction again Get the arrow faces up then for selecting the planes I think what I did wrong earlier when I was um, using the rib function is you have to click on a face and then hold down Um, that didn't work. Cancel. Let's try that again. Modify. Draft. Click on this. Uh, and we want to select our faces and click on here. Oh, and it's control, not shift. And then it lets you select all three. That was the same issue I was having with the rib command before. And the angle that we want that set to is 15 degrees. So we're going to come back into the browser and change that to 15. Enter. We've got a nice draft angle all the way around the outside that's even. Now we want to apply a chamfer to this top line here that you can see highlighted in blue. So we can zoom right in so that we can see it. Modify, chamfer, click on that line. And the equal distance is what is usually highlighted. You want to switch that to distance and angle. So we're going to have it be a 10 millimeter distance and an angle of 35 degrees. So click OK. And if you're just curious because I kind of am if you go 
D for dimension, click on this point, and click on this point. It may not let you, sorry, that's the wrong tool, inspect, click on this point, click on this point. And we have 13 millimeters that way, but in, now let's make sure, I'm, yeah, I've got that edge. shows us how long it is along this face. What I wanted to measure and know was how far it was going out this way and back down to where it originally was. Anyways, moving on. We have our chamfer complete. 10 millimeters and 35 degrees. Click the OK command. We've got that dialed. So next is to use the combined feature to turn two bodies into one. So we still see we have these two bodies. They're separate. One, two. So we want to use... No, modify, get out of press pull, modify and combine and select the target body. The slide deck suggests that you use, I went too fast. Uh, the first extrusion is the target body and the second is the tool body. So first is here and then second is there. Click OK. And we now have two bodies turned into one is perfect. Um, next slide, expand the sketches folder and turn off the base sketch. Apply the inside shell with a thickness of five millimeters. This is pretty sweet. So it hollows out the inside and it makes the what's left a perfect five millimeter wall thickness. So we go modify shell. I have both sketches already turned off. What it was suggesting was that you turn that off and we click on this face. And we want to make sure that we have the arrow going in the correct direction. For now we're going to type in five millimeter, not 500, five. And you can see what you end up with is a perfectly hollowed out model. Click OK. Back to the slide deck. Expand the sketches folder and turn on the web sketch. Enable the web command to create the support material underneath the model. So we can leave this on a bit of an angle just so we can see our web sketch lines. We're going to go modify, uh, or sorry, create web and select our curves. So we've got one and control two, control three, control four. And they're, I'm not sure if they're supposed to be five millimeters thick. We'll check in the instructions yep symmetric five millimeters thick mark sure the web is created in the correct direction that looks good click ok just like that you have a reinforced feature from the underside this would be perfect for modeling something that you wanted to try 3d printing it could be machined as well it just would be difficult with everything on tapered angles moving along uh, turn off the web sketch and turn the base sketch back on. Use the scale command and expand the model by 5%. First choose the point of the scale. The point of the scale is at the end of the construction line of the base of the sketch. So we want to make it so we can view the bottom. We're going to turn our base sketch back on. That gives us this construction line and this point at the center of the semicircle. So we want to go modify scale. Select the body and then select the point and we're going to select right there and if we go back to the slide deck in order to increase it by five percent it says to scale in a uniform manner 1.05 so scale 1.05 oh, and hit okay and head back over and our last bit of information is to select a material which is physical materials navigate to plastic folder and then choose rubber i gotta do this quickly we've only got 29 seconds left so go up here physical materials i already found it plastic and i want to find rubber drag it over enter minimize that and there you go, we are done.